All right, about 20 minutes with the spinner beat, and that hasn't produced nothing yet. I'll come slow roll it over this point here. See if I can pick up something right here. Wind's blowing across this, which is good. But I still wish it was blowing the other direction. Nothing's going to bite it with a bunch of grass on it, though. There's bait fish here. You can see them all freaking out. Which is good. Where are the bass? The bass has got to be here. Much bigger profile than what I've been throwing. So. Oh, I got a big one on the spinner bait. Oh my god, look at this. It's a cowfish. I call that the cowfish. I was pitching along this boat, letting the spinnerbait fall. Oh my god. No. I call it a cowfish. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Look at this gorgeous thing. Oh my god. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, look at this fish on the spinnerbait here on a Molex with a Kitech trailer. I call it the, the moo fish. He's like a cow. Pitching along these docks here, along the boats, just letting the spinner bait fall, and they're slowly cranking along the bottom. Look at this fish. How cool is he? He's got this yellow spotted tail here. That fish is gorgeous and big. Wow. How cool is he? Look at the spots on him. He's got these black and yellow spots on his head. He's like a cow. Come to this tail. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Beautiful fish. Very unique. I love the tail. That's a big boy. Four. I would like to see five out of her, but I don't know. I know she's a four. Oh, 4.77, so close to five. Oh, so close to five. Look at the gut, 4.77, just a little more. We could add a good five pounder. Alrighty, let's get this big girl back in the water. One last look at her there. Beautiful fish. I love the dots on her head and the tail there. Absolute pig. Big gut on her. Alrighty guys, here goes Moo Cow. That's gonna be her name. With those spots on her head. Cool looking fish. I dig that. One of the coolest fish I've caught this year by far and a big one too almost a five pounder what we're looking for so close big fish so I really want to get her get her ready to go oh my god that's what I'm talking about all right, so let me show you guys what I was doing. And I actually had a pike foul before I caught that bass, which was right over here is when I had the pike foul. The bass came on the other side of this pontoon. So just letting it pitch out, letting it fall all the way to the bottom. When it hits that bottom, rod tip down, and just slowly reeling on the reel. Just nice and steady. And that bass thumped it, man. I was thinking I was going to have the pike on. And the only reason I knew I had a pike is because he followed me all the way to the top and I seen him. He wasn't big. I'm glad he didn't bite because 
I'm only fishing with a monofilament. Let it sink all the way down. Slowly just reeled it and caught the biggest fish of the day. Wasn't expecting a whole lot, you know, just... Oh, look at this. There's a bass following it. What the heck? That was a little one too. Wow. But yeah, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. But that was cool. He came right off this boat right here. I gotta fix my trailer. It looks like it's sideways. Yeah, but he came right off this boat you see all this grass around so that explains why he was probably colored like that the rumors I've heard is it's from them being in the grass a lot slowly cranked it and she just thumped it oh my god another one just smashed it no oh my god he hit it so hard I hope it's not the pike Wow, he smashed it. All right. Oh my God. There he was again. Oh no. It might be the pike. Let me grab my net. I, I think it might be the pike. <laughs> that makes me nervous. So I wanna grab my net. I don't even want to risk it. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm nervous. Man, what was it? I think it was a pike. <coughs> How cool though to get it as I'm explaining this to you guys to get another hit. That was awesome. Now I just gonna I wanna do this down all the docks now. I've really never pitched a spinner bait before like this. different how cool already another one doing the same method sorry I didn't get the action on camera here Same method, just pitching a spinner bait out and just slowly cranking it along the bottom through the grass. Look at that. Moloch spinner bait with three blades, two gold, one silver in the middle. Big old Kitek on the back as a trailer. The color I think is like a blue crawl, something like that. A little chunk. Very yellow too, you can tell these fish are hanging on the grass. You know, we're getting this winter months, these fish just start turning white, but he is still very yellow. We're almost in October, September 25th, but look at all the color he still has on him. And that's just from hanging out in this grass here. Wow, I might have a new method here. I've never done this before. I'm pretty new to spinner bait fishing. I'm not a huge fan of it. I really never had any 
confidence in throwing it. My dad would always fish this when I was a kid. He was always fish a spinner bait. And he would always catch really good fish. I would never catch anything. I could throw it all the time. And I just, no confidence in it whatsoever. But, I really dig just pitching it out. Let it sink to the bottom, work it through this grass here. I am digging this. Lots of grass though. A lot of times you're going to be getting this, but when it comes through perfectly, like how you want it, you may end up with a moo fish. And those are good fish. <laughs> moo fish are good fish. Or we're going to end up with a pike and break off. We don't want that to happen. All right. Throw it on this dock again. I really want to keep it next to this pontoon. Keep it nice and close. That's how the last one came. It was a good fish. I feel like right when I shut the camera off, I'm going to get a bite. Just trying to save some battery. I left my batteries at home, so I totally forgot about them. All right guys, the bite has died down. I have not had any other bites in about an hour. So I'm gonna go back through, mess around with the spinner bait on the way out of here, and then call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a really good day. Had some really good bites, some quality fish, and that one moo cow fish that almost hit my five pound goal that I was going for today, trying to get a five pounder. He was like four, seven, seven, so close. He just needed to eat a few more minnows <laughs> and we would have been right at the five pound range. But overall, great day. I cannot wait to come back out tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day off and hopefully we're gonna hammer him, guys. So thank you guys for watching. This is Matt. You guys take care. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Models, popping bottles. Hey!